Welcome to the Natural Hazards Laboratory at FM Global's research campus. This is the building entirely dedicated to Mother Nature. It's where we research solutions and approve products relating to windstorm. Fire. It's also where we investigate the performance of industrial roofing systems in hurricanes. Behind these windows over here, our earthquake shake table is able to simulate any earthquake. And of course, one hazard that affects one in 10 industrial facilities, and that's flood. Gee, sounds like that storm's getting very close. And as you know, when you're in a flood zone, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Stop. Now a flood can be a devastating wall of water such as this from a broken levee or a flash flood, or it can be something more gentle where the water simply seeps in through every unprotected opening. So let's back that up. In a flood situation, there are typically three options. First, you can raise everything above the water level. Second, you can make everything waterproof. Or third, the most common option, is to use some form of temporary flood barrier. Let's look at a few. Sandbags are an option, but they are time consuming and difficult to assemble and stack. And also, they need to be disposed of after the event, sometimes as hazardous waste. Flood planks are another option. Simply slotting the interlocking panels into a rigid frame creates a watertight seal. These are easy to assemble, easy to clean, easy to store. A great option. Another option for a longer run is a lightweight perimeter barrier such as this. The top simply flips up and the struts are put in place. And again, easy to store, easy to clean, easy to erect. Ideal for flat surfaces. If you have undulating surfaces, you will need to use something like these water-filled tubes, which will change shape according to the contour of the ground. Okay, let's watch this flood from the safe side of the barrier. Take a closer look at the water. Flood water is anything but clean. It typically contains everything that has been in its path, debris, sewage, and even wildlife. Think about the cleanup, the expense, and the business interruption. Now take a look behind our barriers. Imagine this is your operations center, distribution hub, or any facility. Inside the FM approved flood barriers, it's just minor areas that will need attention. At three feet deep, we can expect unprotected key equipment to be seriously damaged. So ask yourself, what's standing between a flood and your business resilience?